because it's beautiful and I'm going to keep my voice down just a little bit because they started the uh, ceremony literally 10 minutes ago if that so uh, they're starting to file in to start uh, their kickoff to this amazing ceremony that they have here and it's just a gorgeous day out here I mean you couldn't have asked for better weather for such a beautiful thing to honor the men and women who serve not only just all across Arizona but even right here in the valley uh, so many people from all walks of life are here uh, just uh, standing in solitude with uh, these men and women and so I'm actually joined here with a veteran himself uh, this is Mark uh, he is a US Navy veteran um, you served in Vietnam tell me how it feels to be here today and see something so beautiful well I lost three guys from my riverboat and I'm honored to be able to remember them to the people that are here today and Dale and Larry were 21 and Mike was 20 years old when they were killed on that boat and I want people to know that our freedom and our children and our grandchildren, especially our people, are worth dying for. It's worth dying for. And that's why freedom is so expensive. And we as American citizens must protect that freedom by voting for people who believe in it. Yeah, absolutely. And so while we're here today, you know, you were just telling me there's so much symbolism that comes with this ceremony. Yes. Uh, do you want to kind of talk about uh, what folks can see at the center of uh, the stage here as they're presenting things right now? The f it's called a field cross. And during World War I, they found a body on the field, on the battlefield. They would take the rifle and they would stand it in the ground so that when it came time to recover those bodies, they would not miss that one. And then it became part of the ceremony to put the helmet on top. The dog tags are hanging from the, the handle. The boots that we wore in battle. Um, the American flag that a Gold Star mother would put on the boots because Gold Star families, their loved ones died for that flag. The red rose is for the uh, servicemen who are already in war and that red rose is hoping that they come home safely. And the yellow rose is for the children of war with a prayer that they will rise from the ashes and find love. So it's a very powerful ceremony. Yeah, absolutely. So as folks gather here today for this beautiful Memorial Day and they see, you know, symbolism like that and then also just the men and women that are just gathering here today, it's so beautiful. What are you hoping that uh, people take away from this if they're coming out and um, standing with you today? The trilogy of freedom is our families, our country, and our God. And that's what we must fight for. So every decision that we make, the people we vote for, the people, if they're not on that page, we're going to be divided. And what's the division? The division is socialism and communism. And it's always been that. That's what we fought against in Vietnam, in Korea, World War II. It's always, and you can call it something else. Call it fascism, call it whatever you want to call it. It's not the trilogy of freedom our families, our country, and our God. And if your family has value to you, and you're taking care of your family, you're honoring God. And you want your family to be in a safe home, a safe community. You want them to get a proper education. It's taking care of your country. It's honoring God. It's all the same. All right, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. You can see that a lot of men like Mark here have so much pride with being here and standing with men and women uh, just like him. So we'll be here throughout the morning, and we'll uh, check back in with you at 9, uh, hopefully by the time maybe the ceremony is uh, wrapping up here and talk to more guys here. Back to you guys. The symbolism in every little detail is yeah. really, really special to hear him talk about that. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, and to hear the people that he knew who he lost, you know, it's just uh, his experiences is, is, is across the country. Absolutely. You know? Thank right. you so much, Elena. You certainly hear the pride in his voice as well Absolutely. as still the pain. And that is why on this Memorial Day, we honor those who have paid the ultimate sacrifice. We stress that. Uh, to everyone today who yes. get to enjoy this day off. Don't Absolutely. forget to, you know, take a time to reflect and remember. And we give you a live look now out of D.C. of uh, a memorial there. This is the, uh, this is the, uh, what, where exactly is the U.S. U.S. Marine. Uh, this is where this is, uh, yeah, set at D.C. Uh, they are going to have uh, several events throughout the country happening today. So. Uh, stay tuned, we'll bring you them live. This is uh, President Biden in Arlington National Cemetery where the 
Wreath laying ceremony is happening at the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. He is expected to deliver some remarks in just a few moments.